Channel 3 is your back to school authority. We know school starts in just a few weeks and we are asking superintendents all over the state to give us their insights for the upcoming school year. Today we're talking to Groton Superintendent of Schools, Susan Austin. Good morning, Ms. Austin. Thank you so much for joining us and being here. Let's start with what's new in the district that parents and students need to know. Good morning. Glad to be with you and to talk a little bit about Groton Public Schools. Actually, my theme for this year is coming back to community. We are really so excited to be moving forward. Um, as you know, with the pandemic, it has really um, stalled a few of us, but we have marched ahead. Um, we have a Groton 2020 um, project that has been near and dear to our hearts um, over the past five years where we built a new middle school up at the top of Fort Hill with a high school, Fitch High School, International Baccalaureate. We have a long time um, recipient of or an authorized diploma program in high school and then careers program and now middle years for all our middle school children at Groton Middle School. And it really is six through 10. So it goes into the high school and it really lays a wonderful foundation for our children to have access and rigor and relevance in their education so that they can do anything they want to do, whether it's the plethora of careers programs, our IB, AP, ECE, and the Grant 2020 was a program that this community really supported, our board supported, and it was in the name of excellence, equity, and efficiency. Where we used to have 10 elementary schools, we now have five and they're all intra-district magnet schools. And um, we're working with LEARN to get um, a magnet school assistance plan, federal grant to really magnetize them and have partnerships from this area. We're in this beautiful Southeastern Connecticut and between nestled between the Thames River and the Mystic River. And that happens to be the names of our two newest elementary schools. Why magnet and, schools, Ms. Austin? I'm sorry? Why magnet schools? Well, we learned early on, this is a, a really rich area of magnets between the Learn Magnet Schools, New London being a full magnet program. And while the state does not authorize inter-district magnets anymore, we wanted to be able to give our families uh, both a neighborhood um, community, but the neighborhoods are bigger now with five schools instead of 10. And then also choice. We knew that our parents through surveys, through focus groups wanted some choice and they did appreciate being able to have those magnet schools um, through Learn and New London. So um, we've really felt that we've been able to bring many more Groton students back to Groton and given them you know, the before and after school programming through this treehouse program and also the ability to pick a marine science school at Thames, which is close to the marine science school that LEARN has as a high school. So um, it's really been met with great enthusiasm. Um, and our Thames River happened to be our second um, Blue Ribbon School in five years because of the progress that we've made in closing the achievement gap. So how many new schools do you have opening this year? Any new schools and are well, classrooms this, that, ready? That really came to full fruition last year. Okay. So now it's really magnetizing those magnets is our next sense of urgency and really giving them the supports that they need so that they can have these partnerships like Project O and NESS. Um, the, you know, on the um, Mystic side, we also have a Northeast Academy, which is an art school. So really tying in with the Mystic Arts Museum and other wonderful partners that we have, the Seaport and um, the Aquarium. So right. we really want to take advantage of that and make sure our children have that um, experience. Let's talk about safety. Will you be addressing COVID protocols and if not, the monkeypox protocols as well as students and teachers return to the classroom? That's a really important job for a superintendent is to oversee and manage through anything. And, and we've certainly done that in a pandemic. And I have awesome staff that works right by my side and um, really pays attention. We also partner with the Ledge Life Health District, our Connecticut State Department of Ed, CDC. And there's been a lot of planning going on, as you must know, in the past couple of years to make sure that our schools stay safe and healthy. And I would say that this year, like all the others, we still are hearing about COVID cases 
Um, we had actually last year, we had 12 vaccination clinics with Hartford Healthcare right at Fitch High School for staff, students, families. We also had, we partnered with Griffin Hospital for our younger children and their families to roll out a, probably another dozen um, of those vaccination clinics in the schools and also, um, you know, in the central office. Is that something you'll be doing this year? I'm well. asking, what are you doing this year for those protocols? So this Mask this wearing, year, we have gotten new um, guidelines from both the State Department and the Health Department, and we are following those. Um, monitor your health. I, we've always thought that was pretty essential. And if you're not feeling well, stay home, especially if you have a fever. And we have test kits ready to go and PPE so that families can test before sending the kids in. And if they, they don't test positive for COVID, they may retest, but they can still come back to school. Um, masks are recommended if you're not feeling well, but they're not mandatory. Okay. So um, we are just marching forward and you know have learned a lot in this process. So we'll be using the information that we really have learned. Teachers have learned. Um, principals, certainly, um, there won't be all the contact tracing that they had to do last year, but certainly our nurses will probably be busy just like they have been in the past couple of years, helping families to monitor that health and making sure they have the test kits and um, are stay home while they're sick, um, especially if it's COVID, um, and then get back and you know, we'll um, be able to give them plenty of books to read in the interim if they are sick and they feel well enough and, you know, dream box to do in math. So um, we do have a game plan and we're getting ready to communicate that to the board and to the families. Um, and I've actually already reported to the board on some of the new plans that have come out from the our health experts couple more questions. Monkey Fox, uh, the only thing I've heard is um, Dr. Fauci says pay attention, but he said don't panic. So right. I, again, I think we have to rely on our health experts anytime there is a health worry or, you know, issue or pandemic. So it's really important for us to listen to science. couple more questions. Uh, when does school start and do you still need teachers? If not staff, maybe bus drivers? What do you need? Well, I think all of the above. I think that um, we work closely with our bus company and their management, and they really feel like they're in a good place with the hires they've made. Um, our bus drivers are actually unionized, so they just had a new contract signed this past year, and which gave them really very fine wages. So if anybody's listening, come, come to Groton to drive buses. Um, and then with teachers, we we have had wonderful hires. Um, we've been working on it since last spring. Um, we are a transient community being military. So we have students um, that move in and out. And we sometimes have military spouses that move in and out. And we're able to have um, some of those spouses come and work for us as teachers, paraprofessionals, and in all places in education. So we do appreciate that. Um, do you have any teacher openings? Are you looking for teachers? Um, we still have a couple positions, so go on our website, grottenschools.org. And certainly, um, if you're interested in getting a position in teaching, one of the best ways to do it is as a long-term sub or permanent building sub. And there are certain perks and benefits financially to those jobs. So um, I would say that's a, a great way to get your, your foot in the door. And it's really super for us, um, that and tutor jobs, because through our ESSER funds, We've been able to hire more tutors who are able to help our students um, during the school day and before and after school. Ms. Austin, that, I think that's what I needed from you. Uh, is there anything that I did not address that you may want to say that I did not ask you? Well, you know, a lot of people will tell you that our students have really suffered academically and social emotionally through this time. And one of the things I have to say is I've noticed that my staff, my students, my families have really persevered and they've done a remarkable job during the course of this. We've really, we're really looking to come back to community and be more in person. But I would say that the results that we've seen is we almost graduated as an Alliance district because of our performance. Um, we held off and I had a test of 
I did testify before the House because I felt it was such a tenuous time. We weren't really ready for that yet. We still needed the support from the state. And um, I would say that the results, though, that we've heard from from the state and they're about to become public um, are really good news that they that there wasn't what we thought would happen. Um, we really were able to kind of move along, move forward. We've seen growth in every grade level and there's still places that need some fine tuning and there's still tutoring to be done and intervention to be done for some students. But many students have seen some real success and there were silver linings in all of this. When does school start? So it starts at the very end of August. We have um, the day? 30th as our, our date for okay. first through 12th grade. And then the following week after Labor Day for our K's, pre-K's and TK's. Okay. Ms. Austin, I thank <laughs> you so much. Good luck in this school year. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Thank you. You're welcome.